In the age where horror is all over the world can be seen with the click of a button, one has to stop and wonder what all this constant viewing of violence does to people. Desensitization towards violence is the main subject matter of Everything Everything Get to Heaven, released in 2015. This track was made in the midst of the increasing relevance of the Islamic State in the world view, with various atrocities making headlines daily. This song was made to point out that people should not grow accustomed to the violence that we see all over the world every day, and that we should continue to care about these issues despite them being so commonplace. In the beginning, the singer, Jonathan Higgs, describes several images of death and war-torn destruction in verses, such as an old man laying down in flames, tanks rolling by, and bodies on the road. Based on interviews with the band, this is one of the relevant, this is a reference to one of the relevant wars of today, the war in the Middle East, specifically in Syria. These wars were highly publicized with various atrocities being displayed in full view on the news. The main satiric tool this song uses is irony, not only juxtaposing these horrors with dissonant whistling in the first verse, while also having a happy, upbeat tone throughout the entire song. Moving on to the chorus, in the face of all these atrocities, the singer responds by saying that we can get to that heaven in the chorus as a way of comforting the, the person who is seeing all of these horrors. This can also be up to multiple interpretations, for this saying could be said by the people who are indeed committing all these horrible acts, the people who are suffering because of that, these acts, and the people who are watching this on the news. After all, people blowing themselves up, in a way, are just trying to get to their own heaven. And, of course, for the people who are watching, it can be seen as some sort of way to dismiss all the horrors uh, that they see daily. Singer is making us notice that this irony is in our daily lives, and encouraging us to really put violence in perspective instead of it just being another story to entertain ourselves with. Towards the end of the chorus, the singer further cements his point by just juxtapositioning the speaker's apparent obliviousness towards the violence. In response to all of this, the, sting, the singer describes the speaker's mind drifts to what his password was, where he parked his car, and Wow, how about we go find some place to eat some? Later, this is yet another example of irony and juxtaposition in this song, showing how people so easily dismiss and trivialize violence that they see in the media. So ultimately, the song's message is simple, but important. People should care about the gross horrors that they see in the media and not just ignore or be desensitized to it. Thank you.